but I have been going under the name Smith for so long that I forget about the Schmitz. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm here in Costa Mesa by accident. Mm -hmm. I came to see my aunt. Well, actually, she's a first cousin. Wouldn't you say that? Yep, first Marie's the first cousin, Marie yes. Is, that's Marie Kolosinski. I still can't say it, Kolosinski. And she is, has passed away to, since then. And well, I'm very happy here. We live, we have, in, we're in three houses, we have about eight people in each house. And we have the most wonderful meals. Every day is Christmas Day with, with the meals. Mm -hmm. It's just wonderful. And I love to eat well. <laughs> <laughs> so this is great. And wonderful people. Uh, mostly women. Mm -hmm. And we ha in our house, we have seven girls and one man. And we all live alone. I mean, most of us are alone, alone in the room. Mm -hmm. And it's just, just great. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see what okay. else. I stopped playing drums when I was 67 years old. 67. Oh. Uh, since then, I have worked. And I'm now 102, so that's a long time. Yes, that's scary. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure. OK. Yeah. We're going to so, go back again, and we're going to start over. Um, can you, mm -hmm. you lived in Mount Calvary. You grew mm -hmm. up in Mount Calvary. And can you tell us your parents' names and your brothers and sisters' names? Oh, dad was Nicholas Schmitz, mother Loretta no, and Loretta was the eldest daughter. Mother's Ooh. name was Louisa Steffes Schmitz. And then Loretta, and Vina, Marcella, called Sally, Irene, Lila, Lydia, we called her, Viola, that's me, Irma, and Mildred, these are the girls. Mm -hmm. And Walter and Elmer were the two boys. Okay. And the eldest, the, actually the eldest died when she was two months old, so I didn't mention her. That was Dorothy. That's yes, Dorothy. Two months old, so I didn't. So we were eight girls and two boys. Okay. And when the two boys overheard Dad say that he's going to have an orchestra, a girls' orchestra, well, that was the end of their practicing the piano. Mm -hmm. Because up to then, we all had to practice piano, including the boys. But that was the end of them. They never touched the piano again because they were not going to be the orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> so. That was, we were, as the Schmidt Sisters Orchestra, we traveled professionally for two years. Okay. During school vacation. During school vacation. Yeah, the winter months we'd be in school, but through the summer months. But we'd work on weekends as we were growing up. We were very young playing. I started at age 12. Oh, wow. Actually 11. Mm -hmm. Actually 11. And, um, so did you start at the drums? Other drums. Mm -hmm. Up to that, up to that time, we all had to play piano. Okay. And the eldest took lessons, whereas they, 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 they showed, they taught us really. Mm -hmm. The eldest, the family. So we got our lessons from, from within the family. So did you? Were you able to play piano for the the silent movies at the well? The Schmitt I didn't ball? because you the writer was the writer the played them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we played for the silent mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. Remember, I remember between the reels, we were playing. Oh, wow. I was just, yeah, I was just starting to play drums at that time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you remember about Mount Calvary? Oh, it's a charming <laughs> little place <laughs> because it once on one hill there's a convent with all the with the Dave sisters, and then the other hill is the St. Lord's Seminary. Mm -hmm where the students from all over the world were studying for the priesthood. Mm -hmm. From all over the world, mind you. There was very popular mm -hmm. Mount Calvary. Mm -hmm. It was, was a big place for the boys to become priests. Mm -hmm. So, and then during the, all through the day, the, the students in the ch church, uh, at the school, would be tr going through town with their prayer books, too, always in twos. They would be saying their prayers and walking along in twos, and they'd go past our place, Sometimes we'd stop in. Mm -hmm. We had a restaurant. Mm -hmm. one stop, but they didn't much. They didn't. They mainly stayed up on the hill where we, we call it the hill. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're both on, on both sides. There was well the common. The other side was the 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 uh, call it seminary. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you remember about school? Were you were you in a one room schoolhouse? I take it. Yes. yes. For grade school. Yes. For grade school. And then high school, of course, was not. Uh, you know, the usual high school. Where did you Fonda. go to? Fonda. Oh, you went to Fonda after yeah. high school. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Um, so what do you remember? Any any fond mm -hmm. memories of school? 
<laughs> my memories mm -hmm. have so mm -hmm. overcome anything in the background. Okay. I can only think of musical memories. Mm -hmm. I can other memories mm -hmm. they fade in the background. Okay. No, I'm just yeah, no, that's, that's, that's fine. That's it's all Music, music, music. Music, and that's pretty right. much your life. Yes, mm -hmm. but I was very lucky that I was the sixth one in the family, because the, that's why we became the drummer. Else, I might have had to play a trumpet or a trombone. Lord, I wouldn't have lasted. No. <laughs> so this was the luckiest break I ever had to be the sixth one in the family. Oh wow! Dad, by that time, Dad said, "Well, we need a drum now," mm -hmm. and I was 11 years old. And sure enough, then I had a cousin who was a mm -hmm. professional drummer living nearby. Okay. He helped me get started. And then he helped me along enough to get rolling and get... And who get was his cousin? Do you remember? Uh, Schaefer. He was a Schaefer. Okay. I, I don't remember the Okay, name. okay. No, that's uh, fine. And uh, so then we... Later on, I took lessons from the Pickhead Brothers when we started playing the theaters. Mm -hmm. And we'd play theaters usually a week at each theater. Mm -hmm. And I'd see the bit band drummer early in the week and start taking lessons. So every week I'd have a different teacher, but I'd be taking lessons. Okay. So that's very, that's very nice. Yes. A lot of lessons that week. Yes. And um, earlier we had talked a little bit about the Depression. What do you remember about the Depression? We were so fortunate about the Depression. We didn't know there was a Depression. We really, really? didn't. We didn't. Wow. We did great. Not know. Okay. We had the business place. People always drank beer. Yes. <laughs> well, that's the only land. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. yes. you know, beer drinking you had to go on with German people. Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> so the the business was always humming with the beer drinkers. Mm -hmm. And so actually I will say that I people the boy the children would come to school, they couldn't pay for their books and we mm -hmm. used to think you know, we couldn't understand that. Right. We really, we were very fortunate by having that business place. Right. At right. a time like that, mm -hmm. with so many children. Yes. Without it, heaven forbid, <laughs> what would have, would have happened? Mm -hmm. with all these mm -hmm. children during the depression. Right. Right. Hmm. Okay. And what age did you leave um, Mount Calvary and go off to? Where was the first place? Did you go right to New York? No. 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 Okay. We would just we would go out with the Chicago units. Chicago shows. This is after high school. After high school. But the earlier, earlier on, we would work summer vacations. Okay. And then after that, we would start traveling, and we'd be Chicago units, and travel and travel farther and farther every every year. Okay. And pretty soon I was playing here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So. So just, you, you don't remember what age then, or was it no, your teens? It all, uh, it all kind of uh, went together. I, with age, I can't tell. All 